Hey y'all, Patrick here. Hope y'all are doing fantastic no matter where in the world you are. And quick question for you. Have you ever seen an audio interface that is this small and compact before? Uh, because I don't think I have. This little iRig USB from IK Multimedia is super compact and easy to use. And not only that, it's surprisingly affordable and feature packed as well. But hey, let's just jump into it and see how it sounds. So yeah, this little iRig USB interface, this thing is rad as hell. Not only is it super portable and compact, but like I said at the beginning of the video, it's surprisingly feature packed, it's really inexpensive, and it's just plain easy to use too. But before we dig into the nitty gritty of the iRig USB, and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by IK Multimedia. But of course, as with any sponsored content on my channel, that has absolutely no effect on what I say, what I play, or anything like that. I'm just a bass player who likes playing with new things and seeing what it sounds like. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. The only interface I'm actually really used to is the one I use now, which is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, something I've been using forever, and it's just done a good job at being an interface. But I think the idea of a super portable, easy to use, and just feature packed audio interface makes so much sense, especially when you can use it with your phone too. One of the main things that I'm such a big fan of about this thing is that it's literally plug and play. It's just go from the beginning, and I absolutely love and adore that as someone that not only really appreciates technology, but is also just uh, overwhelmed with how much there is and how different everything can be. And it's like, oh, what's the compatibility like and things like that. It's so easy just to plug in and use it. And hell, technically there's not even any buttons on this thing. There's just one knob and one two-way switch and that's it. So starting with the inputs and outputs of this device, at the very top, you'll see an eighth inch headphone out as well as your USB-C out. Then on the bottom, you have your quarter inch instrument input as well as your quarter inch amp out as well. Then on the side, you'll see a little two-way toggle switch that says FX slash through. So this gives you the option of either having your raw signal going into your amp or your process signal from whatever tone you want from Amplitude or Tonex going into your amp, which is just so cool to me to be able to have that option. And one of the really cool things about this, or I guess two of the really cool things about this, is when you buy this unit, you actually get the Tonex SE and Amplitude SE software with it. This means that you can go through all these different tones, make your own presets and whatnot, and also get presets from online too from other users, which is so awesome to me that you're able to not only get that on top of just having a really cool and small audio interface, but you can use these different tones as well. And then at the front, you just have one knob that's for your overall gain, and that's it. So the iRig USB is just a super cool stripped down and very easy to use audio interface for 69 bucks brand new. 
But if you want some more features, there's also the HDX as well. Now the HDX is $130 brand new, but it's more of a universal interface that has more features and even a built-in tuner as well. They really look identical, but there are a couple extra features with the HDX that really just make it something different. By using that one gain knob as essentially an all-in-one cursor that actually clicks in with this one, you're able to go through four different sections where it basically shows you with the LEDs of the current function. It's our headphone volume, then your FX through controlling, then direct monitoring, and then loopback plus mode too. So for the pros on the iRig USB, uh, to start off with, again, it's super small and compact. Like this thing is so cool and so useful too. Not only for being able to do things on the go, but this can be really useful for live practices, performances, and all kinds of cool stuff like that with all the extra features on top of it. And for the cons, it's not really compatible with Android devices, unfortunately, which I can see some people being upset about, but I feel like since you're able to use it with Windows PC, it's kind of the same thing in a way because I used this with my regular Windows PC laptop and it did completely fine. And so overall for the iRig USB, this is just a really cool and again, surprisingly feature packed audio interface. Not only is it super portable and on the go, but it's something that can give you quite a bit of use out of it, especially I feel the more that you use it. Whether you wanna use it for practicing or live recording or hell, even live sets where you can actually have your process signal go back out to your amp or just on the go recording, it's super useful in a lot of different ways. And again, it's only 70 bucks brand new too. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the iRig USB and what other cool sort of offbeat things should I be looking out for? Thank y'all so much for watching as always, for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing my videos, follow me on social media, all that crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate it y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right over here. Mwah. If you want to be like one of these absolutely beautiful people right over here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you again so much for watching as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, be excellent to each other, and I'll see y'all next time.